Okay, people, we are here to talk about Star Trek, the original series, Blu-ray Disc 4. Now, why is it Disc 4? Because I just went to Disc 4, and there's one episode on it and a bunch of special features. And people are going to ask, well, why did they do that? They put in the special features a couple of extra episodes. Well, I forgot the name of the episode already. already. That's pretty bad. It's the big episode when DS9 crosses into um, the original series. Tribulate, tri tri whatever the hell it's called. It's pretty bad. Well, you know, I'm not as big of a Star Trek fan as people may think. So, um, as we got into that, I noticed how bad the quality was on all these extra episodes that they gave to you. The only thing that looked like it should have was the actual episode for the original series. Everything else looked like crap. Now, I know when you look at a special feature, it's not going to be in full high def or anything like that. But this looked extra compressed. And I'm saying to myself, why are they compressing this shit if there's only one episode on the disc? They have plenty of room to work on it where they can throw the special features on it and have no problem at all. They, they could be all at full quality. Or is all the master footage for those special features that bad? Or at least, um, I could say there was a couple of special features that weren't episodes. I can understand maybe why they didn't redo those. But they could have at least given you the actual quality of the DS9 episode and um, the animated series episode. They could have at least kept those at full quality. It's a, it's damn shameful. And since, and since um, the animated series came on Blu-ray, I don't know if it came out at this time. Because if it didn't, then they would have had to leave that at DVD quality. But they could have put DS9 in a better quality. I was disgusted when I looked at it. Looked at it. Now, some people don't really care because um, they either have the whole set or they don't plan on really watching it again anyways. But if that, were, if that was me and I wanted to watch Deep Space Nine, I would have had to watch it in some of the worst quality possible next, next to a bootleg. Still better than a bootleg, but not by much. And all this compression is what they do with special features. A lot of times I don't understand why they do it, especially when they have more than enough room on the disc. My best guess is they just don't want to take the time to do anything with it. So they put everything and just throw it on the disc and that's it. I couldn't believe they did this in the middle of a, sh of a season too. I've never seen this before on a TV show where they take one disc, whether it's a Blu-ray or a DVD, in the middle of a season... And just put one episode on it with a bunch of special features. Here's what they should have did. They should have waited till the very end of the season. Um, on the final disc. Um, let's say, actually no, make a separate disc. Back then they used to use spe separate discs for, for special features once in a while. And they should have did that. Put all the special features on a special disc. You didn't have to have the, the, this DS9 episode next to the episode it was based off of. It could have just been on the bonus disc when you're done with this season, but they didn't do that. So I was very disgusted when I saw that. I wasn't too happy about it because um, the quality, I thought it was like, let me check the DS9. Then I went back and said, let me check if it has Adobe Digital. It does read it as Adobe Digital track. I don't know if it was 5.1, but um, it did read it as Adobe Digital track. So I th even the audio was probably compromised at some point too. And a lot of shows are doing this to people. If they give you a bonus episode, and when I try to look it up on Google about bonus episodes and stuff, I can't find a link to if they compress it or not. It's pretty obvious they do. But I could not find one link to tell me otherwise, which is bullcrap. All this big giant Google and Star Trek fans and all that, and there's nothing I can look at to tell me about a certain episode or whatever. So, um... I was going to basically tell you this. If you do get bonus episodes on a disc, um, whether it's a DVD or a Blu-ray, chances are the quality is going to be a lot worse. It brings me up to another one that really sucked. This is a completely different show that has nothing to do with Star Trek at all. Knight Rider. If you got the Knight Rider, um, this is the actual set. This isn't the shitty Mill Creek version. Um, if, you, if you got the actual set, one of them, I think it was the very first disc, or was it the last one in season one? Wherever it was in season one. Had the Knight Rider movie, but it was in horrible quality when you played it. Compared to the TV show itself. 
which didn't make much sense, but whatever. They wanted to cram everything onto the disc. That's what they're doing. Here. I'm shame, shame on everyone for Star Trek. You know, I think I spent 80 to to $100 when this came out. Not when this came out, but when I wanted to buy it. The problem was people paid even more than that when it was first available. If I'm not mistaken, the original series was available on HD DVD. I think it was all three seasons. I might be wrong. But that's just, you know, that's crazy. How many formats like this, um, the original series has been on. If you, you can argue, it's one of the f few shows that's been on every format as a TV show. If you think about it, most shows never went to HD DVD. So if Star Trek, the original series, made it to that, <laughs> and made it to DVD, made it to VHS, made it to Laserdisc, uh, made it to Blu-ray, and it, that's crazy, you know, that's not something you see every day. Um, I'm just going to say it again, I'm disappointed, I wish they wouldn't have compressed the episodes, there was more than enough space to fit them on there. The animated series episode was only like 20-25 minutes, uh, Deep Space Nine episode is what, 45-46 minutes, so, and you're going to remember, these are going to be at a standard resolution, not HD, and then you got an HD resolution, uh, an HD episode at about 50 minutes, because they really thought back then um, the episodes were longer, there was less commercial, stuff like that. All I can say is, is that I'm very disappointed, keep saying it over and over. I think there's something they could have did to rectify the situation, but they didn't. This is called being cheap. I mean, you make people pay hundreds of dollars for all these sets and all that, and then when you give them the bonus episode, it looks like crap. Then, you know... In their minds, they're figuring, well, everyone owns the Deep Space Nine DVDs already. So they can just pop that in. It doesn't matter. Well, it does matter. There's a lot of people that only like one particular series, and that's the one they're going to watch and buy. So a lot of people are not going to buy Deep Space Nine or The Next Generation. Maybe some people only bought the original series. So if you try to watch the episode, it should look intact and good. It shouldn't look all drowned out and compressed like they did. I think it's very pitiful to do that, and this show was very expensive at the time. All right, bye-bye.